So, hello fellow Bangalore Dan coin collectors. How are you going today? Let's get some perspective on this. So here I have two of my favorite Hong Kong banknotes. So these are in coin covers. If you're not going to use these to uh, cover the banknotes, uh, handle them with uh, gloves. I wouldn't actually handle these with my bare hands because you can actually you can see they're shiny, that's sweat. You can get sweat on them, put oil on them, and maybe in the future they actually turn a different, like a brownish colour. So it can actually damage the banknotes and reduce their value. So that is today's tip. So here I have two Hong Kong banknotes, $50. The These ones are introduced in 1968, and there was actually a, a a bit of a time lag between issuing of the uh, fifty dollar banknotes because the before nineteen sixty eight the have a banknote that was issued after the Second World War is nineteen forty seven for the HSBC, but for the Chartered Bank it was nineteen thirty four and they actually didn't issue any after the Second World War, and this one was issued. Oh, this this is the second issue, but the first one was issued in 1970. So, at that time, there was actually three banknotes that actually issued banknotes, like there is now. But there was no Bank of China. The other one was Mercantile Bank, and they actually only issued, um, mainly at this time, just $100 banknotes. And they stopped issuing banknotes in 1974. And the last fifty dollar that the Mercantile Bank issued was uh nineteen forty one. So they generally they didn't issue fifties after the Second World War, only a hundred and five hundred dollar banknotes. In which the five hundred dollar nineteen fifty nine is actually very rare and pretty expensive. So here we have the HSBC. Oh we just knocked over some coins there for another video. And here we have the actual coat of arms of HSBC. So we have the two lines. And these two lines are actually... Oh, not two lines. A lion and a unicorn. No idea why they have a unicorn. Unicorns seem to be popular. Why couldn't they put a... A one horn ro woolly rhino from the Pleistocene. It's pretty much extinct. And here's merchant ship in the background. And we have a Chinese junk ship. And we have a wharf, so this uh, is trade. And this banknote was issued in 1981, so 31st of March. And this is the first issue of the fractional prefix. So we have A and 2 underneath. And before that, they just had uh, the letter at the end. So a suffix. So prefix goes before, suffix goes back. And that is taken from linguistics, in which uh, a, so a, we have a fix, we have a pre, so the prefix in prefix is pre, and that's basically how I hope that wasn't confusing. And we have some Chinese, so Hong Gong, and this is pretty much the same up here. So fifty dollars up there. And I like this. We have 50 and it looks like it's radiating from the sun. Ooh, the sun. Beautiful. And... Mm-sup-man. Mm -sup man So that, that is pretty much the formal setting of uh, the numbers. If you want the informal, you just take the first part off and it's mm. And here we have on the back the HSBC building in Hong Kong. And this one was used between 1935 and 1978. Between 1978 and 19, probably 82, it was torn down. And the current building was actually in place. And have a look at the buildings. Actually, the first HSBC building between 1865 and 1882 actually looks a lot better than the current one. The current one is just terrible. It's it's pretty much a modern building. I just call it junk. Looks actually looks ugly. So this one, yeah, 
pretty much interwar period between World War One and World War Two. Typical architecture, pretty boring, but the ones beforehand are a hell of a lot better. So, what are the value of these banknotes? Well, to get these ones, the latest last issue, nine eighty three, you know, it's circulated. It's probably about a hundred Australian dollars, so about five hundred Hong Kong dollars, and the price goes down from there. And here we have the chartered bank. So on the chartered bank we have a uh, Qinzi, which is a mythical creature in Chinese mythology. Looks like a, a type of lion actually. I don't I don't know that much about it. And it's actually rolling a ball around having fun. So in the watermark is looks like Britannia with uh, the Roman helmet. And here's the security thread. As you can see, did you have a banknote have a security thread? No, it didn't actually have one. And considering Australian banknotes of this time had security threads, and this one was worth about ten US dollars, uh, may made it a bit of a danger of uh, counterfeiting but this one has sort of like a security thread so this is more secure for the time period and this is 1982 and these banknotes were first issued in I'm looking at the, the uh, banknote catalog uh, 1979 beforehand between 1970 and 75 they actually had a, a different design banknote there is only three years issued for this one, 79, 81 and 82, and this one is the last issue, 1982. The value for this one in the circulate is about, probably about 7 uh, probably at $120, $130. So about, about five, six hundred Hong Kong dollars, maybe even a bit more actually. This one's a bit circulate, so it's actually worth a bit less money. And the actual banknote to get for this one is the 1981, which actually has uh, more value to it than the 82 or 79. So, on the back, just have the coat of arms of... Uh... Oh, sorry, that's the coat of arms of the United Kingdom. Sorry. I believe it is. Because it has the Irish shield, the Scottish lion, and the English three lions. And it has the chartered bank building and I believe this to be the building that was used between 1959 and 1986 so in Hong Kong bank notes they all show the bank building but the mod new ones I'm not too sure I'd have to look them up again and this one's quite this so these two are my favorite Hong Kong bank notes uh, so what's the actual banknote to collect of this series? So I'm looking it up as we go. Got a banknote catalogue, maybe I'll review that because it's pretty hard to get. So the one to actually get is 1979 which is about six to seven times the value of uh, any other date. So they'd have a pretty low printing. And the lowest is 1983, so not this one, which would have to be the third lowest uh, priced banknote. So anyway, if you like Hong Kong banknotes, I'd actually like to know what you like about them. Uh, you don't have to say what banknotes you actually have, because uh, you're on the internet. And I would like to know if you actually collect these ones, and which are these two you actually like the standard chartered or the HSBC anyway I'd like to say thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel uh, leave a comment down below uh, give this video a thumbs up and check out my links it's also a forum on discord in which I'm encouraging people to actually join you can download it as an app on your mobile phone or you can use it as a desktop which is awesome so have an awesome banknote collecting time, people. Have a good day.